The following video demonstrates how a teacher can use the different tools found on Britannica School to support learning and accessibility. Our user interface has a modern design throughout all three levels to engage students in the tools and content. Pages are simple and intuitive, making navigation easy for all ages and abilities. The website is device friendly with stackable components and thumb friendly navigation on all screen sizes. Let's go across to the Britannica school site and take a look at the primary level. The primary interface displays a bright, bold colour palette to engage younger users. Featuring large, kid-friendly images for article and media browsers, biography and animal kingdom tools, so younger learners can locate these tools quickly. Performing a search is easy using the predict predictive text tool to support spellers of all abilities. I'm typing in the word volcano. Learners can then select from relevant options in the recommended list. Within an article, students can access early reader supports like large header text and generous line spacing to easily read and follow text. Navigation between subheadings within an article is also simple. Clicking on the arrow next to each heading loads the content below. If a student still hasn't found what they are looking for, they can use the related button to find lists of suggested articles and web's best sites to support and extend their research. Moving into level two, the middle level, you can see that the interface here includes a strong 2D design with a softer palette and occasional bright pops of color to draw students' attention to specific tools and features. The homepage design encourages independent exploration of a wide variety of topics to foster curiosity. Using the search button, I am typing in the word Mars and clicking enter to locate content related to Mars across all of Britannica School. The search results are displayed in the current level. However, students can navigate between all three levels to differentiate content. Consolidating their research in level one and then extending their ideas by navigating up to level two and three. Britannica provides a variety of content, including text, visual images, videos, as well as scholarly materials in the form of journals, primary sources, and eBooks. So there is something here for every learning style. Click to open the Mars article and you can see the article page tools are easily visible and the features a huge hero image to draw students' attention into a topic quickly. Each Britannica article also has a reading level 1, 2, 3 tool, which shows the current reading level and the other levels available for the same topic. Choosing a different number will change the content of the article, but not the page design. This content adjustment meets learners' needs while keeping the decision to level up or down private to each user. Many topics are available in two or more levels on the site. There is a double-click dictionary powered by Merriam-Webster available within an article, and it allows learners to access content at any comprehension level. Double click or tap and hold on any word to see a popover containing dictionary information and an audio recording of pronunciation. Britannica's translation tool powered by Google Translate is available on all articles as well as magazine and journal content from EBSCO. This feature provides your English as a second language students with a tool that allows them to access Britannica content in a language they feel comfortable with. Look for the globe icon to click or tap and choose a language from the menu. I have selected Italian for this example. A Google Translate toolbar will appear on screen above the Britannica site header. To return to English, click or tap show original on the toolbar. This is the text to speech tool and it is an Australian accent. It is available on all Britannica articles. In level one, look for the play triangle at the top of each section within the article, and level two and three have a speaker icon in the main toolbar. 
on all levels, the student can play, stop, rewind to the previous paragraph and fast forward to the next paragraph. Text-to-speech supports learners who have English as their second language and students who may have difficulty reading and comprehending a text. Lastly, search results, articles and content browsers all have font resizing tools. Clicking or tapping the plus or minus icons allow users to quickly adjust the font size up or down for optimal reading. Finally, let's take a look at level three for high school students. Level three displays clean, gray interface with a spacious feel for our more mature learners. The homepage combines content features with task focused navigation for the more capable and independent learner. Searching for content on the atmosphere, students can also perform advanced searches to refine their results. Within the high school level, the article displays a hero image to draw students into the content, a recessed table of contents and a magazine-like feel fostering senior students' text comprehension skills. Within videos, there are also a number of tools that provide for students' support and learning. All videos with narration now include a closed caption option to switch it on or off. Click the closed caption icon and select your action. Closed caption describe video content to hearing impaired learners. While well, audio descriptions can be accessed here and provide the learner with auditory narration of visual representations such as films. This tool supports sight impaired learners. During gaps in dialogue, audio descriptors describe visual elements such as scenes, settings, actions and costumes. That concludes this training about how a teacher can use the different tools found on Britannica School to support learning and accessibility. Thanks for watching and bye for now.